I am so giddy. It's an absolutely glorious Saturday afternoon. The sun is shining, it's about 15 degrees. Not good for winter tyres, can I just say. I'm off to Leeds to pick up my partner in crime and we are heading to the Lake District. And I am so excited, I just can't tell you. The difference it makes to have the sun shining, very little wind. Admittedly, it's blue skies, but I really don't care. Haven't been to the Lake District in what seems like forever. Have absolutely no idea where we're going to end up. There are a couple of ideas, but nothing set in stone. We're just going to rock up, have a moat around and see what happens. The forecast for tomorrow is looking perfect. Very, very little wind, possibility of some mist. <sighs> you just feel so much better when the sun's out. And on that note, let's go. Well, I thought we deserved a break from the coast. So we've come back up to the Lake District. I was desperate for some reflections. I really needed some reflections. And I've got a shot already. I had to move fairly quickly because the wind's picking up. And it's not wind, it's a really, really gentle breeze. Look. Bit of colour. Unfortunately, because of where I'm positioned, I can't quite get that angle. Now, I would put you on the gimbal. I'm not quite sure how I can show you where I'm stood, but we're going to have a go. Yeah, I'm kind of just about up to my knees in water. <laughs> so the waders are out. Really, really sexy waders. And I've got the gimbal stuffed down the front of them, but I've decided I'm, I'm, my hands are just too full. I just can't cope. I've got too much going on to actually um, juggle the, ba the balancing of the gimbal as well. Now the wind has picked up again. The bells, the bells. Not quite sure what time it is. It's about seven o'clock-ish. We're just getting the pre-dawn glow. The sun's gonna be up in a while. And there is a, oh, excuse me, it's a bit chilly. And there is an old wives tale about as the sun comes up, the wind comes with it. And as the sun goes down, it takes the wind with it. And that is proving to be true. Although I did manage to fire off one shot that I managed to get reflections because I really need some reflections. I'm shooting a fairly straightforward composition. You see the boat out here. Woo, let's get you straight. That's sort of the focal point. And then we've got the reflections of the hill in the background. And that was it. And we got a little bit of colour in the sky. And I'm shooting at F9, ISO 100. And we got one sixth of a second, I think. Oh, one third of a second. And all I've got on is a, a 0.6 soft grad because the sky is considerably brighter than the water. It doesn't look it, but it is. It's really bizarre. And a, a third of a second was just about perfect. And the colour is gone. It's been here for about three minutes. Wasn't expecting any colour because there were not supposed to be any clouds up there. But there's a little bit of cloud. Had hoped for an inversion, but I don't think that's happening. So now it's just a case of waiting for the sun to come up properly. And I think the sun's coming up over that way. So we should get a little bit of nice side light on this little boat here, that little boat there. I'm sorry it's a bit all over the place. 
<laughs> I'm conscious of not moving because every time I move, I send ripples through the water. And I don't want to move my feet too much as well because I'll probably put them on a rock which is covered in algae and then I'll end up on my bum. And I don't think my trousers are that waterproof. So it's, it's a really simple composition. It's a really simple day today. It's just all about reflections. There is not supposed to be a breath of wind, which I love seascapes. As you know, I've given you, I don't know, eight weeks of Northumberland and I really needed something different. I wanted some mountains and some hills and some reflections. But I'm definitely a photographer that likes water. That much I have figured out. So I'm going to leave it here for now and I'm going to carry on shooting. Well, we've changed location a little bit. And just come slightly further down the lake because we're getting the sun as you can see there just lighting up that little hill we had a little boathouse in this corner and we've got some mist just lying behind these trees and peeking its head out from behind that little mountain there and it makes quite a lovely little scene the wind keeps coming and going it's easing off a little bit now but yeah that's quite a quite a nice scene so I've got the camera set up, there we go, we've been down here shooting, I've managed to get the boathouse in down here and the light just on the tops of the mountains. It's quite tricky, I tried that one with the polarizer but you can see it's giving me that horrible dark blue patch there. Not the easiest of images to, to um, expose for, I've got a hard grad and a reverse grad in. But yeah. That was definitely worth getting up for this morning. God, I'm loving this. Just moved very, very slightly for the composition. I'm now shooting more closer in on this and just getting the hill that you can see illuminated there, leading out of the corner, sort of the right-hand side of the frame. I'm still using a 0.6 yeah, this is a 0.6 hard grad and a 0.6 reverse grad. I'm shooting at, where are we? Let's see if I can remember which button to press. Put it on live view, there we are, F F14 and a third of a second. And I'm standing, <laughs> again, I'm standing in water. Let's go you down here. Very noisy goose is going overhead. There we go. Not quite as deep as I was before. But um, enough that my boots would have got wet. And apart, there's a little stream just trickling behind me. And a very noisy geese flying overhead. Can you hear the dawn chorus? Sometimes it's just nice to listen to the birds. They're very vocal this morning. It is cold. It's, I don't know, maybe two, three degrees. And the wind is just, or the breeze has just died off. Look at that reflection. Oh, I've really needed a dose of this this weekend. You can see Maddie parked in the layby. That's not where we slept, but I popped the roof up because there was a bit of condensation in this. So I thought I'll pop the roof up whilst we're out photographing just to let it dry off because I don't want to encourage mould or anything to grow up there. So I've got the, the side vents open and hopefully that will dry it out. Right, I'm going to carry on taking photos. <laughs> Oh my god, now that 
is my idea of absolute heaven. Absolutely mirror-like reflections. The sun coming through. The hills lighting up. You, it's bringing out all the shapes and the textures and the lines and the grooves. The silver birch are, light, are lighting up. Wow. And everything is just mirror, mirror-like. And... Oh god, yeah, it's just awesome. And I'm going to get set up and then I'll show you what we're doing. Apart from standing there with a great silly grin on my face. <laughs> oh god, wow! Look at this. This is Brothers Water. Now we've stayed at Sykes, I think it's called Sykeside Campsite, which is just up here. We've stayed there twice, if not three times, and I've never come down here but with these reflections oh, I had to I mean that is just absolutely amazing now the light is getting a little bit harsh so where we're getting the best reflections which is kind of there the light just isn't perfect we've got bluebird skies except for contrails and shooting straight out onto this even by my standards for reflections, is quite boring. So I've popped on the 70 to 200 lens, no filters, I've zoomed into 85mm, and I am shooting from there across to there. So you're getting the left hand side in the dark, uh, sorry, in the light, and the right hand side of the image in shade. And it makes quite a nice contrast. I think a little bit of clarity in post-processing will bring it out quite nicely but it might also work well as a mono and that one was shooting at I tell you what let me spin you around to see if I can show you what we've got there we go so you see I've got the left hand side oh there we go the left hand side of the image with the light coming in behind this band of trees there is also a very very faint band of mist across there and the right hand side of the image in shade and I think that actually works quite nicely yeah the light coming down over here is now quite harsh but that is not the most attractive reflection ever because it's very flat whereas up here we've got the different shapes and the dark going into the light and you've got the lighting on the background that to me is quite attractive so we were, I was shooting that from the other side of the lake or from the, the other just down the way when we arrived but shooting that bit there yes I like it and I had to take it as an image but it was just to say to, to satiate the need I think but oh what a morning and it's actually about minus one down here and it has been frosty not quite sure if you can make it out there's a very light band just around there and that's frost daddies so i'm going to keep shooting come up with some more compositions you can just see my um partner in crime mojing along there that banking that banking across there is actually all really really boggy and i've abandoned my gopro thing over there somewhere so i better go and fetch it There's a fair few what I call ink blot type images. There's another one here. We've got this beautiful hillside leading down into a V, and then you've got the hill in the distance, which kind of frames the darker band. And it's a very abstract, it looks like an ink blot that a psychiatrist would show you. And I suspect all photographers need a psychiatrist at some point in their lives. Oh, excuse me. Oh. <sighs> I'm so, so glad I came up. So, so glad. And this little spot, as I say, I've never been before, and it just works. There's even some rocks on the shoreline that you can use as foreground. But as I say, with a, a, a decent reflection image, I don't think you need foreground. The fence that leads into the water that you saw on the time lapse. I tried an image with the fence leading you in and it just didn't work, it interrupted the reflections. So I'm going to carry on. Wow. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this morning's little wander around bits of the Lake District. Seems like forever since I've been around here. I know I was up at the Brathe um, over Christmas and that's when I got the last reflection shots. It wasn't quite as long ago as Angleton. But I can never get enough reflection images. I, I don't think I've ever vlogged from Oldswater. And when people tend to go to Oldswater, it tends to always be the Duke of Portland Boathouse that is the star of the show. I already have an image of that, and until I can get absolutely phenomenal conditions, I'm not going to. I'm not going to revisit it. I need beautiful light coming in, some clouds, some stunning sunlight, um, morning sunrise colours, etc. And until I get that, I'm, I'm not prepared to do it. So it was nice to find a slightly different angle, and. The first image that I did took me back to the very first trip I ever had up here and the scene that I shot that hooked me on landscape photography, which was the same boat, I believe, that was there this morning. Perfectly calm waters, beautiful reflections. I'll try and dig it out and pop it up for you. But it's a lovely Sunday afternoon, it's about 14 degrees. There are plenty of people around, obviously given what the weather's like. But what a beautiful way to spend a weekend. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you all again next Sunday. Bye for now.